Okay, this is a really quick tutorial on how to use Livestream Procaster. You need to have this one right here. Focus. It's not focusing. Okay. You get the idea. So, if you have this, first thing you need to do before you open it is go down. Right. Oh my. I'll just show you with the mouse. Right here. Speakers. You want to go to recording devices. Lo and behold, this window appears. Now, you want it set to stereo mix because that'll be what will be recording your desktop and all of the things that's going to go on in your computer. You don't want microphone to be on unless you're doing a webcam because it's a microphone and everybody will be able to hear you typing. So if you don't see the stereo mix, what you're going to want to do oh, up, nope, it's not um, responding. Basically, you want to right-click, and it'll say something like um, uh, enable or disable hidden devices or something like that. You want to click at all of them, enable everything, show all of these. Hopefully, Stereo Mix will be one of them. You want to enable it, set it to default. Set it to default. Say okay. Then you're gonna be done with that. Yeah. Hang on. This always happens. Hopefully, that doesn't happen with your computer. Close. Sorry, I'm talking so fast, I only have a little bit of battery power left. Alright, so once you've done that, then you can open Procaster! Hooray! Let's do that. Where's the mouse? There it is. Okay. It's opening. Now, I'm unsure of how to link it to your account, because I think you do that when you first open Procaster. But, oh, right here. Yeah. So just sign in. Uh, I would go down to preferences first off. So, you are going to want to uncheck the on demand button because what that'll do after you record and save your recording, it'll automatically upload it to livestream.com as something that you can go back and watch later. Since we're streaming movies, that might not be the best idea. Um, as per suggestion of Joseph. So, let's see, uh, anti-lag, that's a good thing to have, I think, um, live, obviously. So, the rest of those I think you can just not really mess with. Uh, video, just things, I never really use this. Audio, never use this. Audio mixer you can probably open when you start live streaming. Uh, desktop, here's some good stuff. So, unclick highlight mouse and unclick show mouse. So that way, if you accidentally leave your mouse, um, on the screen when the movie's showing, it won't show it. Uh, everything else I think is good. Uh, we're not streaming games and well, I don't know, use that stuff. Alright, so chat. Hey, there it is. Oh my god, there are people here. Oh no! Oh, let's see who's here. I see you guys there. Alright. Anyways, uh, promote and player you don't really use. Okay, uh, go live. It, it has connected. Now we have the green box, the wonderful green box. You can see as I'm doing that, that's how it changes the screen. I think everybody knows that though. So you have that, you have your chat. Um, you probably want to move your chat off to the side somewhere. Uh, do, do, do. Stop buttons. Wait, want to stop recording? <laughs> so, I like this little box here. It shows you how long you've been recording, what the uh, frame per second is, um, how much CPU you, your computer is using, or, you know, that. I, I can't computer science terminology, but um, basically if that gets up past, I think, 80, it'll give you a little warning that says you need to close out some tabs because if your CPU gets too high, like up to 100%, which sometimes it does, um, then your computer might start to lag, and that would be bad. So, uh, mixer, this is the volume mixer thing that was earlier. Uh, this, I don't really touch it because sometimes if you try to, like, push the master volume up too high, then it'll make everything sound like a robot. Um, so yeah. I uh, don't really think you need to touch anything here unless you really want to. Uh, boop, boop. What's that? And then down here you have... This is... Oh, background change. Um, 
screens, obviously a desktop, it's recording the desktop right now. Uh, camera is for webcam, 2D mix, 3D mix, you don't have to worry about that. Zoom in, zoom out, you can do the same thing using the green box. I can show you what that looks like when you use the buttons. Zoom in, zoom out, and then this button minimizes the menu. So you can drag this all the way to the bottom and be able to click after. And if you want to bring that back up, go here and click on the bar and it's back. And that is it. So, whoa, made it in six minutes.